Don't start to watch James Bond movies without knowing this ultimate watch order. Let's begin with the release order. First up, start with Dr. No, a movie that runs for one hour and 50 minutes, released in 1962. Next on the list is From Russia With Love, a follow-up movie released in 1963 and has a duration of one hour and 55 minutes. Let's switch gears to the next one, Goldfinger, released in 1964, showcasing a captivating turn of events with a runtime of one hour and 50 minutes. Then move on to Thunderball, two hours and 10 minutes long movie released in 1965. Next, we have You Only Live Twice, a movie that runs for one hour and 57 minutes, released in 1967. After that, move on to Casino Royale, a tale of secrets and revelations from 1967. This movie runs for two hours and 11 minutes. Next on the list is On Her Majesty's Secret Service, a movie released in 1969 and has a duration of two hours and 22 minutes. Then, move on to Diamonds Are Forever, a two hours long movie released in 1971. Let's switch gears to the next one, Live and Let Die, released in 1973, showcasing a captivating turn of events with a runtime of two hours. Next, we have The Man with the Golden Gun, a movie that runs for two hours and five minutes, released in 1974. Then move on to The Spy Who Loved Me, a movie with runtime of two hours and five minutes released in 1977. After that, move on to Moonraker, a tale of secrets and revelations from 1979. This movie runs for two hours and six minutes. Next, we have For Your Eyes Only, a movie that runs for two hours and seven minutes, released in 1981. Then, move on to Octopussy, a movie with a runtime of two hours and 11 minutes released in 1983. Let's switch gears to the next one, Never Say Never Again, released in 1983, showcasing a captivating turn of events with a runtime of two hours and 14 minutes. Next, we have A View to a Kill, a movie that runs for two hours and 11 minutes, released in 1985. Then, move on to The Living Daylights, a movie with a runtime of two hours and 11 minutes released in 1987. After that, move on to License to Kill, a tale of secrets and revelations from 1989. This movie runs for two hours and 13 minutes. Next, we have Golden Eye, a movie that runs for two hours and 10 minutes, released in 1995. Then, move on to Tomorrow Never Dies, a movie with a runtime of one hour and 59 minutes released in 1997. Let's switch gears to the next one. The World Is Not Enough, released in 1999, showcasing a captivating turn of events with a runtime of two hours and eight minutes. Next, we have Die Another Day, a movie that runs for two hours and 13 minutes, released in 2002. Then move on to Casino Royale, a movie with a runtime of two hours and 24 minutes released in 2006. After that, move on to Quantum of Solace, a tale of secrets and revelations from 2008. This movie runs for one hour and 46 minutes. Next on the list is Skyfall, a movie released in 2012 and has a duration of two hours and 23 minutes. Then move to Spectre, a movie with two hours and 28 minutes duration, released in 2015. Finally, end your James Bond movie marathon with No Time to Die, released in 2021. This final movie has a running time of two hours and 43 minutes. The release order versus chronological order debate often arises, yet in this instance, they coincide simplifying the experience for all viewers. There you have it, the correct release in chronological orders for James Bond movie series. Subscribe to us for more watch orders.